Let's take a look at NX's dependency graph visualizer. You launch it by running NX depth graph. This visualization is very useful for understanding how your projects relate to each other. When it first loads, nothing is shown. So if you click show all projects, it displays every project in your workspace and their connections to each other. Sometimes it's difficult to see where all the lines are connecting. So if you hover over a project, the connected projects are highlighted for you. You can also click on the project and you have the option to remove it from the graph, or we can focus on the project, which only shows the projects that depend on this project or are consumed by this project. You can navigate around your project tree using this technique, and it helps you to focus in on specific areas and get a better picture of a local area when your overall dependency graph is too big to really hold in your head all at once. You can also check the group by folder option, which draws boxes around projects that are in the same folder, or you can activate this proximity checkbox, which only shows the projects that are one step away from our focus project. We can increase that to two or three. And then down here, we have a list of all of our projects with the status of whether they're shown or not indicated by this eye here. Clicking this search icon will focus on that project or clicking on the name will add it to the graph. One of the best uses of this visualizer is to identify edges that should not be present in the graph. Once we've identified this edge, we can then go back to our tagging rules and add a rule that explicitly disallows this kind of connection.